Good morning, nation. Good morning, C Marty Fit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Good morning, brother. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, June 18th here in North America. Tuning in to Mornings in the Lab with Keith and C Marty Fit. Kicking off the day here, Marty. It's uh we're here to today to talk about healthy breakfast foods, man. Let's talk about it. For a dude who hasn't eaten how long? I forgot that. Look, I'm good at math, but I ain't that good. <laughs> yeah, because you're not paying attention to what I'm not eating. Good morning, Enzo from the future. Of course, we got Enzo from the future joining us here. We got the we got the vertical stream going on here today. So, Marty, no guests, just you and me today hanging out. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to some dialogues and back and forth. Welcome in, Business Athlete Nation. I thought they were sick of us. Or <laughs> Is that what it is? is yeah, that that's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, yeah, people aren't, people aren't sick of Keith and C. Marty. No, no, not at all. What's going on there, Renzo? How's life over there in the future today? We figured we would uh, we would let you hang out with uh, Keith and C. Marty today. So we're not bringing anybody to uh, to take over the conversation or, 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 or weave into our chatter today. Although, Marty, I am going to invite our good friend, uh, Chat GPT, GPT4 Omni. To join the chat and Let's see, do if it. It, see if it can provide some value to our conversation today along the way with healthy recipes of course we got the accountability check-in coming up today the c marty fit tip uh creator spotlight coming up at the bottom 45 minutes. i don't like that c marty guy <laughs> <laughs> nope yeah he's mean man he's <laughs> you he's know too blunt he's too blunt so what, what is it oh why, why why do people not like hearing the truth do you think marty uh, most people don't want to change. Change is, is, un- is? Cha- change is uncomfortable, and people do not like to be uncomfortable. So, change I think is, that's what it is. Yeah, well, it's hard to argue with that. It's mm-hmm. hard to argue with that. You know, it's it's easier just to keep the status quo. I'll tell you something I've learned. I had I had a good friend of mine, Marty, say to me years ago. I was struggling with like why people didn't always want to climb to the top of a mountain. Like using a metaphor. I'm like so so his name is Chuck. I'm like, Chuck, like, why doesn't everybody just want to climb to the top of the mountain? He's like, well, Keith, that's just not how everybody is. I'm like, but why not? He's like, yeah, but the world needs people that want to, at the time, want to pump gas or want to work at a convenience store or want to do certain roles in life without judgment, just happy in that spot. And I got to be honest with you, Marty, I, I, I really couldn't grasp it. I didn't know why you wouldn't wake up every single day wanting why you wouldn't want to try to achieve greatness as a human being. Uh, I think, like I just said, com- comfort. Yeah, well, what it is. Can't, I'd, can't I'd rather it. I'd rather stay here, uh, you know, know how much money I'm getting, um, you know, relax on the weekends. I don't want to have to work on the weekends. I don't want to have to work overtime. I'm cool with that. Some people are fine with that, and it's yeah, nothing and, wrong. With and that. that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all, right? Nothing wrong with yeah. that at all. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No, it's, no. High, it's, it's high risk, high reward. So if you want to live a certain life, you got to do certain things and put in a certain amount of work. And everyone's not willing to do that. Just like if you want a certain body, you got to eat a certain way. You got to burn some calories. You got to get up before work or go after work or do it when the kids. You're supposed to be babysitting the kids. You might got to do a little. Some burpees in the house. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Yep. Well, that is how it is. It's exactly how it is. I uh, I seem to have lost my uh, my music here for a moment. So hey, guess what? We have. We not only have Enzo's commenting on uh, the world. <laughs> the, the, I'll let you guys go on that one. Figure out the music. And Liz, I see you there in the comments as well. But uh, Marty, why don't you enlighten Enzo on a little bit of the music challenges you guys are having here? You know what, man? The Mavs, they just didn't have enough players. And I thought I thought Kyrie and, and Luca were enough. And I, I should have known better. But I thought I thought they would get more production out of out of uh, you know the, the the front court guys and it just didn't happen. So sorry, Enzo. I'll take the L on that one. <laughs> I'm usually I'm usually not wrong on these things, but I'll take the L on that one. I'm usually not wrong on these things. Yeah. Is the yeah. quote of the day from C Marty Fit on G- so Nation? The next time Marty's wrong, we got to circle the date today and call him out on it. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> well, you know what we were talking about yesterday, Keith. We might be able to get into some of this stuff, you know. We might. And then not. I could, then I could, t- I could really show my skills. Well, I could really, <laughs> <laughs> I could may, show my skills. We may have to weave some. Uh, we may have to weave some sports chatter, chitter chatter to get into the conversation. I, th- I, th- I think it'll be. I think it'll be good. We might Especially, be. A- Especially with my opinions and how they're always off the wall. I think that's that's be perfect. It. So, Marty, Melissa, if you're tuning in right now, we're warning you. We might be breaking down the baffle pillars and, and introducing some sport dialogue to the conversation to keep Marty, uh, well, to bring Marty's expertise to the table. Because apparently Marty no, only knows about fitness and keeping people accountable in sports. A- and maybe math. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yesterday we had a guest on the show. Check this out. Liz Withingham joins in. And she's asking me about uh, about uh, about my breakfast. Yeah. Well, guess what? I have not had breakfast today. I haven't eaten since Sunday night at 10, 18, 10, 22 p.m. Central time, which would have been 11, 18 year time. And we are now at 24. Uh, okay, let's do some math, Marty. 24 plus, uh, I don't know, 30 some odd hours into this whole thing. So, Liz, I'm doing fine. Like 34 I'm- hours? That's it. Thank you. That's American math. So it's like uh, 10 hours in Canada. Is that what it is? Well, it's, 30, it's 30% more. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. oh, man. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> if you're tuning into Mornings in the Lab today, all you're getting is back and forth sound effects from Keith and C. Marty. As we're I know, right? We're, we're going to have all types of stuff. We're going to get into breakfast uh, breakfast foods here in a few moments. But Liz, to answer your question, um, so I'm feeling great. Marty, I got up to my lift this morning. Alarm went off at four. I'm going to admit my brain was a little foggy and I, and I, and I, and I almost hit the snooze button. And I was looking at it, my watch and like, I was like all confused, right? I'm like all confused. And I was like laying there and I was like, oh, wait a minute. No, Marty said I can't snooze. I got up 403. I was like, I was laying there and and then your head came to my head. I was like, oh, Marty's looking at me right now. Gotta get my ass up. So I got up and like 404. I'm working my way downstairs. And brother, I crushed legs this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, 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 love, I love to hear that. A fasted leg session. So I will yeah. admit it wasn't perhaps the heaviest lift of my life. However, I got some uh I got my squats in, I got my deads in. I got uh, I got a thirty minute climb right in. So typically, so here's how I start. I'll I'll, sh- I'll share with you. I'll share nation with what I started today, and Marty, I'll share with you too. So I started with a ten minute stretch. Got on the ground there. Did some foam rolling. Did some rolling. Did some mobility, agility. Got my body warmed up. After those ten minutes, did my did my lift. I started with some uh, with some mini band squats, uh, mini band laterals. Um, I then got into some uh, some uh, some squats. I did some squats. I did uh, five sets of uh, of squats. I then got into some goblet squats. I then got into some deads. Uh, I then got into some walking lunges. I got into some hip lifts. Uh, and then when I finished all that up, and today was very much about compound and heavy lifting, right? And then after yeah. that, I stopped. And then my, my, my program uh, called for uh, sled pushes. And uh, I have a sled here. So when you come visit, oh, me, wow. when you have a few weeks, in a few weeks, when you come visit here. So, hey, Marty's coming to the lab in a few weeks, everybody. He's going to come to the lab in a few weeks. Yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to bring the young man to Canada and uh, bring him over to the lab. We're going to do some live shows for you guys and create some great content. Uh, so then, Marty, because it was it a freaking storm here again last night, um, we uh, just got music everywhere because uh, we had a big storm last night. I didn't go out. I didn't go out and uh, do, do the sled this morning, and I figured, nope, I'm going to get on the bike. So you know what I do instead? I do a climb ride. I get on my Peloton, and I do a climb ride, and I just grind it out at uh, 60, 65 resistance, and I go for like 30 minutes, and it's just a grind. There's no – it's not uh, – it's absolutely not uh, aerobic, very much anaerobic, nothing to do with my heart. It's very much just crushing my legs for 30 minutes. Finish that up, went upstairs, and I'm on my third coffee. And uh, coffee and water today so far, and I'm contemplating whether I'm going to break the fast later today at, uh, at four o'clock or so to have some uh, have some. There's a whole dish of chicken upstairs, still still some burgers from Sunday. See Marty, chicken looks good, man. Oh, fuck, that chicken's really the chicken's more than good. I'm telling you, it's uh, it's uh, it's absolutely exceptional. So I'm looking forward to having. Maybe I'm going to have that. I don't know. I'm kind of like uh, kind of contemplating maybe just staying in the fast, Marty. Hey man, if if you if if you if you like it and you feel like it's you know getting you the results you want and 
you you got the mental clarity and you feel sharp, do your thing. I think so. So, so Liz, to answer your question, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the fast. I'm not, uh, I'm not hungry. Uh, I, uh, I went to bed in good time last night, had a bunch of water before I went to bed last night, but I did get up middle of the night and pee a bunch of times, Marty. So that's the conflict, right? Is that, okay, yeah. I'm drinking a bunch of water and I'm like, and I'm old too. So you set up for a pee, you take an hour to have a pee. <laughs> but, uh, that, listen, Marty, that'll be the 20th year of our show together when I'm a hundred and you're 40. <laughs> 100 is crazy <laughs> yeah lauren pimes pipes in with uh goes to show that that i had stored glycogen yeah no kidding morning i had tons of gl- no wonder i looked so full yesterday and jacked makes right? sense they yeah. talk about that people don't understand after you swig your water people let's talk about this for a few minutes marty because people get caught up in oh i'm putting weight on or my scale is going up or or I just had a bunch of carbohydrates and I had some cake or I had some pasta and I, and I put on weight. Have they put on weight, Marty? Or is their glycogen full in their muscles and making them feel full? Let's talk for a few minutes for people that are like, oh, yeah, I put on five pounds or I lost five pounds or I'm looking full right now. What does that mean, Marty Fit, when it comes to, you know, Lauren's comment with glycogen stores? Yeah, it can it can definitely be glycogen stores, and a lot of people, uh, it's it's just sometimes it's just water weight too. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times, like especially if you go on vacation and you enjoy some cake, you enjoy some fried foods, you're drinking alcohol. A lot of times, you just it's just water, and you'll you'll get rid of that, you know, as soon as you get back into your routine. So it's no reason to panic. And a lot of times, the scale. A lot of people think the scale is the best way to measure their progress, and it's actually not. You know, so um, it, it can definitely be a store glycogen or, or just just water weight. But I mean, it's because you you stuffed yourself. You had a thousand extra calories than you normally do, you know, so uh, or you had a thousand extra car- grams of carbs than you usually do, <laughs> which is, some of y'all do because some of y'all lose control on vacation and birthday events and holidays, yeah. Father's Day, the Father's Day back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come so, on. no, that's the thing. Let's and talk- um. Go ahead. Don't keep going. I wanted to add one more thing, too, about like when we're just talking about the scale. Right. So let's say you put on let's say you, you lifted weights all week. You know, you've been on your routine. You put on three pounds of muscle. Right. And you lost three pounds of fat. So that that comes down to, to zero pounds gained. Right. So the mm-hmm. scale's not moving. So people think that they didn't make progress. So you, you gain three pounds of muscle, lose three pounds of fat. The scale didn't move. But since you lost the fat and, and, and muscles more dense than fat, you look smaller, right? The scale didn't, didn't, didn't move, but you, you look different. So, uh, yeah, it's, I could talk about that all day. Well, let's, um, keep, let's keep going in because there's, okay, somebody, right. there's somebody right now this morning getting up. They're starting their day. Yeah. They just had the weekend. They might be feeling maybe crappy about themselves. Maybe they're feeling good about themselves. And they're about to step on the scale. Mm-hmm. We are both saying don't. Yep. And so, well, you, you, you still can, you know, but you can, um, you can use pictures. That's one way, right? So you can still be the same weight, but your picture looks different. You know, if you compare the picture from two Tuesdays ago to today, it can look different even though the scale didn't change. And then if you are going to use the scale, I would say use the uh, – get a smart scale and check your body weight. Check your, I mean, your body, your body weight, body fat percentage. Check your muscle rate. Right. Those smart scales tell all types of things. And a lot of times the body fat will go down, even though the scale says the same weight on there. So I uh, so when I was when I was when I did some, you know, intensive training for myself, Marty, I spent zero time paying attention to the scale and spent all my time with AJ focusing on uh, my calipers. Right, measuring body fat, doing skin Eggs. fold, right, and, yep. focusing, and focusing on body comp. And as Lauren says, talking about body composition, right. And, and here's what we don't talk about. I think. I don't want to say enough, but people get confused, right? With what your goal is. Is your goal to lose weight? Is your body, is your goal to have different body composition? Is your goal aesthetic? And often people don't want to make that admission, Marty, right? And I, so I had a, I had a good friend of mine. Oh, AJ, AJ Zeglin. He's like, buddy, you want to be strong? I'm like, no, I want to be aesthetic as F. Yeah. Oh, because there's difference, right? It's different yep. whether you want to be a power lift, like my friend Michael Ray, who's the father in the lab here a couple of weeks ago. He's a 62-year-old power lifter, he's a big muscle, strong guy, but maybe carries more, not Michael, but maybe a power lifter carries more 
weight or mass to, to, to lift heavy weight where you're thinking to yourself, no, no, I want to be shredded. Right. Exactly. So there's, a, there's a distinct difference, Marty. Let's talk about that different composition and because and, and, that relates to weight, Marty. See, so we're, yeah, me and a power lifter are going to live two completely different lifestyles and we're going to have two different workout regimens. Right. And so uh, we, we just talked about that, the aesthetic. Right. Also, pay attention to how you feel. Nine times out of ten, if you're running your mile faster, right, if you if you're if you don't get as tired, your probably your body is probably going to look different. You know, even if it's a slight change, it's, it's probably going to be a slight difference. And then another thing too with the with the weight loss drugs, let's talk about that. Yep, you might you might lose weight quicker, but you're you still have a high body fat percentage, right? Because you're losing a lot of lean muscle, right? You're not necessarily getting leaner. You're not getting body fat off you. You're just smaller. So a lot of people might go, oh, I'm going to try the weight loss drug so I can get the scale to go down faster. But it's like, no, if you do it, if you do it the right way, the natural way, you're going to feel better. You're going to look better. And, and it's just gonna, it's just it's just a major difference. And you'll feel stronger, too. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. And I think when people often get confused when they're thinking of like, I want to have a jacked physique, like, uh, like Hugh Jackman Wolverine, or I want to have a jacked physique, like, like, you know, Ryan Reynolds or, or like see Marty fit. Yes. These guys are eating a lot of food, but they're also not eating a lot of food. If you know what I mean, right? There's a yeah. time and a place for it. There's a time and a place for you to eat a lot of food, but, but you're also, I don't want to use the word restricting. You're also being very selective with the food you're putting in your body. Yeah, so that's so one. Their calorie expenditure is is super high. Yeah, these guys, you know, guys getting ready for movie roles, they're working out two, three times a day, and then they're eating nutrient dense foods, right? They're eating like so. Michael B. Jordan for Creed was eating chicken breast and broccoli all day, but he's eating six times a day. Yeah, you know, so that chicken breast is pro the chicken breast and broccoli is probably what a three four hundred calorie meal, maybe you know something yes. around there. So it, it it makes sense. So now you can you can eat more when you increase your metabolism too. That's why I, I can go ahead. say that, that that's why when I go to a cookout or a birthday party, I can I can get away with them plates and people can get them phones out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> when Marty nope. comes to hang out with me in Canada <laughs> When Marty's hanging out in Canada here, we're gonna document the food of Marty and Billis here. We'll just we'll create a bunch of content for you guys to watch and laugh at. But it's funny, I was sitting with my brother and brother-in-law on the weekend of Father's Day, and we were talking about, you know, I got, you know, Carter's 17, their boys are 17, 18, and, and I said, listen, uh, if we wanted them to eat as much food as they should be eating, we all wouldn't be able to afford it. And I said it tongue-in-cheek because those boys at 17 and 18 and as active as they are can't actually eat enough food. If they're, I, eating, I, I, if they're eating the right food, Marty, they cannot eat enough food. I believe it. You know, I was that age. I was that age once. <laughs> yes, you Yo, were. <laughs> when I my freshman year of college, so I was eighteen. I gained twenty pounds, dude. They had me lifting and drinking muscle milks and eating in the calf. I have free access to the calf, unlimited. So it was crazy, man. You, at that age, the metabolism is ridiculous. Oh, it is ridiculous. And then as you age, it uh, it certainly slows down. But hey, you know what's speeding up? It's that time, Marty. There's that sound effect. I got yours lined up here today as well, my friend. It's the accountability check-in. It's that time in the show where I put Marty on a little bit of a... Uh, I'm going to try something different here today. I'm going to do... Yeah, there you go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make Marty a little smaller. I'm going to make myself a little bigger. We're going to talk... Uh, so are you feeling exhausted before the day begins? I mean, it, it very rarely, you know, if my, um, if my day was rough the day before and I barely got any sleep, then yeah, I'll feel exhausted. But usually when I get up, you know, I throw on my, my audio book or podcast or motivation or positivity. And I'm like, let's freaking go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Nation, let's freaking go. Nation, if you're feeling exhausted before the day begins, it might be because by the time you sit down for breakfast, your mind is already overwhelmed. Maybe yesterday's unfinished to-do list is just overwhelming you right now. Everything you want to accomplish today, figuring out what needs urgent attention. Here's something to consider, Marty. Why don't you step back and change that? Here's an idea. Simplify the morning. The night before, 
Maybe plan today's breakfast. Marty is always telling you guys about planning, 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 planning. Right, we talked before about maybe putting your maybe putting your clothes out today before for today's morning to make so you have to make one less decision today. Right? Maybe maybe putting those overnight oats in the fridge ready to rock and roll. Well, I don't mind overnight oats, or you know, Marty. Although I am fasting, so I try not to have my breakfast. But you know, sticking to a consistent morning routine, Marty. I'm shuffling my morning routine, getting up at four, and I'm learning a new one. But it's sticking to that 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 morning routine, right? Having the non-negotiable. For me, it's got to take care of my human, which was, hey, I got up earlier. You know, we joked yesterday about, you know, you getting up at six if you didn't have clients. Well, this is a non-negotiable for me today for every single day. So I'm like, I got to get up to get my day going so that I can check off that box and be productive. Uh, yep. Have more and less lists of tasks. You and I were talking yesterday about all these things we're working on right now in, in the lab here. And it's about adjusting levers, right? Putting more here, putting less there. And eliminate decision fatigue. So you know, I'm 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 getting very much into the habit, Marty. Of okay, I guess my I guess my uh, my my uh, my uniform for a lot of my lab content is a red shirt with my black and red hat. Okay, less decision for me. That's it. It's kind of like the brand happening for me, right? And then Marty, we talk often here, my friend, about automating. Yeah, exactly. You have no decisions to make. You wake up, put a less brunches, more crunches shirt on, and off you go. Yeah, and the, and the, the sweatpants and the socks too. There, there you go. There you go. He's a burgeoning Mark Wahlberg with municipal coming into the clouds there. Uh, automate what you can. We have more AI tools around us than ever before. There's things you can automate. Work on automating. So simplify your mornings. Streamlining your mornings reduces stress, boosts mood, and sets you up for a productive day every single day. And hey, apparently, I don't know if I agree, we're here to have conversations. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Agree or disagree? That's going to be the question. Marty, that's going to be the poll we're going to put out for the day. The question of the day, the poll today is, is breakfast the most important meal of the day? And is it important for you? And that is today's accountability check-in. We do it every morning, 716, 720 in the lab with myself and C. Marty Fit. Coming up in about 10, 12 minutes or so, we get the fitness tip with C. Marty Fit. So, Marty, is breakfast the most important meal of the day? Do you think it is scientifically? Is it your opinion, anecdote? Where do you come in on that? How do you talk to your clients on that before we get into some food recipes for people to think about? I think it is. Talk about it. All right. So, a lot of people, um, so even if you work out like a fasted workout first thing in the morning, that post workout meal is still still the most important of the day. That's still technically breakfast. Mm-hmm. And for myself personally, um, I I I feel more like I feel more focused when I eat. So even mm. even early in the morning when I wake up, this isn't every day, but a lot of days I I eat something. Um, you know, I'll have like um, I do oatmeal. I'll do like even you know, it's early. So sometimes I'm doing leftovers from the night before, just protein and a carb. But I'm putting something in my system to get me going. Uh, uh, I, f- I feel more energized. And then another reason, too, this is just my opinion, you know, whether you're trying to build muscle or just in general, whether you want to keep yourself healthy, it's best to get that protein earlier in the day. So I tell my clients, like, hey, at breakfast, get as much protein as you can. If you can get 50 grams of protein at breakfast, that'll make the rest of your day easier. You get, you know, you got work, you got kids, you got spouse you got stuff going on you're probably not thinking about your protein intake so if you can knock out a chunk of that at breakfast right not only will you be satiated and and, and feeling fuller right it's going to be less thinking you have to do uh later you're going to feel energized and um yeah that's just that's just how i feel i'm i'm I'm, I'm big on breakfast well and there has been there's been much a debate lately about you know is can you eat too much protein is your body storing protein or are you peeing it out well recent science is eat as much protein as you can. exactly eat as much as you can if you can jam 50 in eat the jam 50 eat the 30 eat the 100 whatever you can jam into your body protein builds strength strength builds longevity longevity makes you live longer not rocket it's, science. It's, it's not even it's not even a debate it even helps with aging and wrinkles Hundred percent, but you know, Lauren brings up a good point here, Marty, and I throw I throw on the screen here, which is depends on when you ate last. Because here's true something too. that a lot of people get confused of, Marty. We get confused of the twenty four hour day. Twenty four hours is a day, folks. So if you sat back on Tuesday night and crushed a bunch of burgers at eleven o'clock on Tuesday night, 
it's still Tuesday on the calendar. But then you wake up Wednesday morning, which is another day later, maybe eight hours later, doesn't give you permission to crush a thousand bunch more calories just because you're into the next day. That's, that's true, too. I think a lot of people, that's why I love Lauren's comment, right? Because yeah, that's true, too. You know, we, we, we are taught as society, Marty, to look at days when in reality is, no, look at hours because those hours, I think, add more value than the days, right? So if you're, if you're on a lifestyle where you're eating late at night, well, no, I don't know if breakfast is the best thing for you at eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning. You know, like we talked yesterday with Liz, there's no reason you can't take your body for probably 12, 16 hours of not eating, giving your gut some energy, giving your gut some freedom to replenish before you put food back into it again. No, that, that's a great point because someone can definitely take what I said out of context. So that was a great point, Lauren. Right. And especially if folks are hitting the bars at night, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I just went to the bar last night. I had a few drinks. Now I'm crushing. Now I'm crushing the old eggs. <laughs> Go to the gym. Fasted workout. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And bring some water with you because you're dehydrated. It. That's it. That's it. Marty, there's a comment from Lauren as well. Why can't we just eat when we are hungry versus putting a label on yet again another thing in our lives? Yes. Well, obviously, like if I'm if I'm, you know, not hungry, I don't force myself to eat breakfast. But usually I'm hungry in the morning. You know, most nights by the time I you know, well, from from the night from my last meal to the morning, you know, I, it's probably 10, 12 hours since I since I've eaten. So I'm usually hungry. So mm-hmm. that, that's a great point, too. Mm-hmm. A lot of people will be like, well, it's, it's lunchtime, <laughs> so <laughs> I got to eat something. It's like, yeah. nah, well, bro. Again, because we're so conditioned to these times in the day. Oh, it's morning. I guess I got to have breakfast. Oh, it's mm-hmm. lunch. I guess I got to have lunch. Oh, it's supper time. Oh, it's just yeah. and there's this constant looking forward to the next meal. And our co-host Lauren's jumping in with, yes, yeah, she's going to get off her soapbox here this morning. But uh, as she's working out here, no, we this, love it. You know, we love it, Lauren. Absolutely. I could not agree more with you. So, Marty, um, let's dig into today's topic before I throw over you to get the, to get the, the, uh, the mornings in the lab fitness uh, uh, accountability check in the morning here. But let's dig into what we, what, why we signed in today to talk about breakfast ideas and give people things to think about. Again, people are starting their day. Mornings in the lab across North America. Their day is getting started at 8.30 Eastern time. They're wondering, oh, man, I got, I got to eat something right now. So, Marty, I sat down with GPT-4 this morning over my coffee and I said, hey, you want to make a list with me? And she said, I, I, she's a she today. She said, sure, Keith, I'll make a list with you. <laughs> I could have made a joke, but I'm not going to make a joke. Ah, <laughs> so I'm going to start the list with you. We're going to go back and forth and we're going to do thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you like or don't like. But Marty, let's first do it. Thing, first thing, first thing. Uh, I said, let's talk about some healthy and delicious breakfast recipes to kickstart the day. Number one, overnight oats, Marty Fit. Whoa! <laughs> yes, there you go. Ingredients, I like it. The ingredients rolled out some chia seeds, some almond milk, honey berries, and nuts. Oh, man. The night before, you mix those rolled oats, those chia seeds, those almond milk in a jar. You add some drizzle of honey and you stir well. You top with some fresh berries and nuts. And you let it all, Marty, you let it all sit overnight in the refrigerator. And then you get up in the morning, you pull it out of that cold. No, they're so They're so good. You crack so the jar, you look at those moistened chia seeds, you take that spoon and you dig in. Put some fruit in there. That's it. That's it. First form protein powder in there. Oh, there you go. There you go. That, that's it. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know, we could do recipe readings with Keith and C. Marty in the morning. We could do that. <laughs> All right. And Sarvina. <laughs> Sarvina. That's it. <laughs> number two, Marty. Oh. This is the brookie. This is Uh-oh. the brookie. The brookie? Okay. The avocado toast with the poached egg. Number two on the list of healthy breakfast items to get your day started. Avocado toast, poached egg, see Marty Fit. <laughs> I don't eat I don't like eggs. I don't eat eggs. But <laughs> but that's a but that's a great choice though. Oh, I I love avocado it's toast. It's a great choice. Man. Yeah. I, I, I'm, so I'm sitting here contemplating whether I'm breaking my fast. I'm talking about food here. All right, yeah. number three, Marty, number three. So this one, I, I can't get on these ones. I have them every now and then. Lauren makes them up here. They're, they're, they're pretty damn good. But I'm not one for drinking my calories. I'm just not. Whether I'm having a protein shake, right, which to me is not really calories. I'm having protein. I'm drinking, I'm drinking strength. Uh, number three, <laughs> green smoothies. 
if if it doesn't have protein in it, not a fan of it. Yeah, and I'm going <laughs> this one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't, so I, I got to rant on the smoothies for a second, Marty. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You, I, I can go on a rant, too. I went on a rant a couple weeks ago about smoothies. But let's go ahead. Do it. Let's just do it. For, let's, 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 create, let's create a minute or so of content on smoothies. Let's smoothies go. have messed up North America. I'm gonna, not going to say America. I'm going to say North America. Because it is just a, hey, let's put a, 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 a glass with a bunch of sugar in it. Let's put some pretend healthy stuff. Let's call it a smoothie. Let's decide to throw some protein in it and make the person feel like they're having something healthy. And let's make it look pretty. And let's sell a hell of a lot of them. And then and let's call like, it natural too. Let's call it natural too. Smoothies are the worst invention for North American fast foods. And you want to know what's crazy? And I hate to do this. <laughs> but if you look at like, uh, hey, it is what it is. Just putting the facts out there. If you look at like tropical smoothie, I don't know if they have those in Canada, but it's like a it's a chain that's out here. Um, you go to tropical smoothie, most of those smoothies are like five hundred calories plus. Like some of them are even eight hundred calories. It's like exactly. It's like come on, man. It's true. If if, if a lot of you already have issues with with um, and taking too many calories, what makes you think that going to get an 800 calorie smoothie after your workout is going to help. <laughs> oh, I know why. I just ran on the treadmill for an hour and a half, see Marty. Oh yeah, burn it off. Mm. You're not burning it off. There's I'm, no such thing as burn it off. So you know what's happening right now? We're creating an incredible hook for LinkedIn and YouTube around our, our rant on smoothies. So, so nation, you know that smoothies do not belong in the business athlete performance lab with Keith and C. Marty Fit. You'd have to run like three hours to burn it off. So you're not burning it off. So, you know, I hate them. They just, they, they confuse children. They confuse human beings. They think because yeah. it's called a smoothie. And because somebody's crushed some spinach in it, or because it looks green, it's like, oh, it must be good for me. No, it's probably not. Yo, and there's so many times when my clients are like, I, I'm, they're like, I'm not, I'm not getting results. And they're like, all right, well, let's let's dive into what you've been eating. All right, I pull out the meal plan. Now you tell me which part of this meal plan you've been following. Where, what did you eat after the workout yesterday? Well, I got a smoothie. Nope. <laughs> There's no smoothie on this meal plan. So I, so why are you doing that? Oh, and my God. Nobody told you to do that. Now, I'm not saying don't ever get a smoothie, but no, that I can't am. be. No, I'm that, not, <laughs> I am. I am. I am. Don't eat. No, don't drink any smoothies. I'm not a fan of it. No, I'm because the moment you have one, you give yourself the excuse to have it again. I'm sorry. Don't have a smoothie, man. Mm. You know, I'll go with Lauren here on this one, though. So if you're going to have a smoothie. If you're going to have a smoothie, no sugar, it's got to have protein. And then, as she says, two handfuls of organic greens, unsweetened organic soy milk, unsweetened protein powder, pumpkin protein, banana, only thing that makes me feel good in the morning, sets the day. And yeah, homemade. There you now go. Now, that, that, that's, that's, that makes sense. I, I can get on board with that because I've drank them. But don't go to the store today and buy yourselves a smoothie nation. Don't. They sneaking some sugar in there. Don't think that there's, that there's no sugar in there just because it says no sugar. They they sneaking it in there somehow. I'll tell you what, Marty. I'll tell you what, Marty. Melissa, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Nation, if you're gonna go today and buy yourself a sugar smoothie, do not tune into our show tomorrow. Do not oh, come wow. listen to Keith and see Marty fit. We do not want you're not invited into the lab. Nope. I'm gonna wow. offer no grace on that decision. Wow. Hey. That's pretty that's pretty stern right there, man. Because, because all, because listen, every little smoothie is going to add up to what? Type two diabetes. You're going to accumulatively kill yourself. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it out, man. Wow. So there you go. I'm just saying how it is. I, you've given me permission. We talked yesterday. I, we talked yesterday, but sometimes we need to look at somebody did. else's mirror to get your own permission. Yeah. Well, I'm like, listen, I, I'm taking a page off Marty here. If you want to go and have your smoothies, go ahead. Don't come back to the lab tomorrow and complain about it. That's the uh, ICUC Keith right there. <laughs> That's there. We don't see this guy often. <laughs> we don't see this guy often. 
<laughs> All right, so listen, let's do this. No, let's do this one here. Oh, you know what that means, Marty? Oh, yeah. How that means I'm teeing you up, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy's paying attention right now. Jimmy knows what time it is. He knows what time it is. It's time for the See Marty Fit Tip. It is where we take this part of the show, and Marty digs into something that's going to help you hold yourself accountable from the fitness side of things. The yes, fitness sir. side of things. The side that's going to make you move life forward and take off that uh, let's move your life, uh, you know, athletically. So we got the C Marty Fit Tip with our friend Christopher Martin, a.k.a. C Marty. Yep. Fit. Yep. Marty, over to you, my friend. Let's get it. All right. If you want to achieve your fitness goals, choose a healthy breakfast daily. All right. Feeling sluggish this morning, not in the mood for your workout, your breakfast might be to blame. Oh, I got something to talk about after this, too. You just reminded me. Um, <laughs> uh, treating a healthy first meal like an afterthought can get you in trouble, especially when you have fitness goals. Starting your day right makes a difference. If you neglect eating healthy in the morning, you might get away with it for a while, but then it's going to hit you. All the bad habits always catch up to you in fitness. All right. Your energy can crash in the middle of a workout. Right. Breakfast can definitely help you with 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 your energy, you know, especially if you're lifting heavy weights, you're doing a, a, an intense hit workout. Breakfast will definitely help you. Uh, you'll get hungry and cranky often. You're going to keep getting them, them, them Dunkin Donut and Starbucks 500 calorie coffees and thinking that's going to help you wake up. Uh, uh-uh. Starts with your breakfast. Uh, your progress in the gym will stall. Absolutely. You got to eat if you want to continue to make progress. If you want to make gains, if you want to drop body fat. If you're trying, whatever your goal is, build muscle. Eating is key, and, and breakfast is super important for that. Um, I, I've been there, but since being intentional with what I put in my body in the mornings, this has happened. My workouts improved. My energy level soared. I felt more focused and alert. And remember this, nutrient-packed breakfast equals a better day. Yeah. Let's, let's get to let's get to it. <laughs> there it is, our yes, smart fit tip. You heard him. Nutrient pack nutrient pack breakfast is equal a better day. We're dropping these every single day around this time on the 7:30, 7:35 mark, 8:35 mark for Marty to give you something to think about to help your day get forward. Hey, real quick, Keith. I, I'm sorry, man. Since we're talking about breakfast, I gotta talk about this. Now I don't want to go on a crazy rant because I know we gotta move on with the show. But did you see in 2026 McDonald's and Krispy Kreme are are merging? No. That's going to be a ridiculous breakfast for a lot of Americans. I don't know if it's happening in Canada too, but it, like come on, man. Talk about crashing and no energy levels. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. I I can't imagine a Krispy Kreme McDonald's merger. Is that real? No. Fake news. No, it's real. Dude. I talked about it on my show. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, well, so so I so we can see that the collective weight of North America is going to go up come 2027. Hey man. I got to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm not stopping at this point. I'm never going to run out of content either cuz that's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Continue our discussion this morning nation with healthy breakfast foods to keep you guys started, keep your game moving. We got Ange joining us here uh Marty. She comes in with a comment that Insulin resistance is an epidemic. It is. An yes. Epidemic. It is. Let's go on that, Marty. And where does that start? It starts with the smoothie, man. <laughs> we, you can argue that. I mean, it could start with a lot of stuff, you know, depending on what your habits are. It could start with, with, with going to the bar for some people, you know? Yeah, well, yeah. It, and then it can <laughs> yeah. <the> smoothie. <laughs> they had a smoothie first. <laughs> You can you can see Billis has a thing for smoothies, sir, Marty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, continuing our discussion with great breakfast foods to get your day going. Moving away from the smoothies, Marty, to the next. Oh my God! Here's the next one, man. This one, this one bugs me too. Uh oh. The Greek yogurt parfait. What the hell is that? That's just disguised ice cream. Yeah, served up for breakfast nation if you're having a greek parfait 
again, don't show up tomorrow morning either in the lab. It's an excuse to have something that tastes good. It's like, I want something that tastes good. And it's grow up. We're adults. Eat some, <laughs> eat some regular food. If you want something sweet, add some fruit, add some unsweetened stuff like, like Lauren just mentioned. I right, grow up. We're, grow we're, up for we're save that for kids. Like <laughs> save that for Brooks. And Brooks doesn't even do that. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, next one on the list for a healthy breakfast. According to Keith and see Marty Fit and our friend Chat GPT for Omni, and the numbers keep going up on viewers. Marty, oh, here's one for you. Get ready. The quinoa breakfast bowl. Where does that one come in for you? <laughs> <laughs> no sir <laughs> no sir <laughs> so this one goes next to the greek yogurt parfait with me you know i just i don't know why what's up with your chat gpt mine doesn't do that <laughs> i usually get what i'm looking for <laughs> <laughs> okay here's one for you i like this one i will admit i like this one how about chia seed pudding to start your day i don't so listen Lauren makes some fantastic chia seed pudding in his house. And uh, I often see it sitting in the fridge. And I'm like, hmm, do I have some? Do I not have some? But I don't mind the chia seed pudding. I don't know about starting my day with it because it's kind of sweet. But I do like the chia seed pudding, Marty said. Never tried it. Oh, it's okay. So when you're here in Canada in a few weeks. <laughs> okay, here's one for no, you. No, I'll try. I'll try. I'm just playing. I'll just play. I'll, tr- I'll definitely give it a try. All right. So our next, uh, our next item for our our our, um, our healthy breakfast uh, ideas to start your day, nation is, and here's from the salt palette, Marty. Sweet potato and black bean breakfast burrito. Never had it, but I think that is a great option for. Uh, like if you're a vegan, that might be a great option. You know, sweet potato and um, black bean are, are are great carbs, and, and black beans has some some protein content in it. So I'm actually not against that, even though I probably wouldn't eat that for breakfast. I'm not oh, against yeah. it at all. Yes, I, I I don't mind that at all. Actually, sweet potato. Yeah, I'm not against it. Although I'm not I'm not the biggest sweet potato guy, you know. But I love sweet potatoes. You know, Having a good old uh, having a good old uh, burrito first thing in the morning. Here's the problem for me though with the burrito, my friend, is uh, it's uh, uh, the cheese. I love cheese. Like I freaking love cheese. So I'm like, you know, is it is it a cheese delicacy with some sweet potato and breakfast bean in it, or is it just? So I, that's my struggle, my friend. Is that? Yeah, no, I get, I get that. I get that. Right. So uh, I, I got a, I got a note over here on our. Uh, <laughs> I got a note up here on our on our screen here from our friends in the lab from 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 producer Jimmy McDonald's and Krispy Kreme team up with a sweet collaboration. Yeah. So uh, in, see, uh, Jimmy, see what I'm talking about, Jimmy? It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, the two franchise brands confirmed the national rollout of a selected Krispy Kreme range in participating McDonald's locations across the U.S. by the end of 2026. Dude, that is going to change waistlines around the United States in 2026. And backs. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. We're talking about potentially. Think about it, Keith. We're... T- if you can get Jimmy, see what the what the average cal- uh, calorie intake is on a on a McDonald's breakfast. But I I forgot what what I put together for my podcast. But I, I came up with potentially two thousand calorie breakfast if you factor in the coffee, donuts, and then you get like you know the, the hash browns, the McGriddle. We're talking like over a thousand calories. Okay, well, I just I just asked our friend GPT for Omni, and it said. Uh, uh, the average McDonald's calorie breakfast size is, uh, it's just popping up here on my screen here, Marty. Uh, so, uh, I, you know, it's still looking because I think it's still trying to do the math. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to add up. <laughs> it's a lot to add up. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Egg McMuffin, five, 455 calories. Sausage What? Bread. What? <laughs> oh my God! Four, Whoa! Four fifty-five. Uh, sausage McMuffin, six twenty-five, my friend. 
Yeah, six six hundred six hundred. I'm gonna get this so out. look. So look, 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 look. I know you got more, but let's just say you get the sausage McMuffin. That's six twenty five. You get you add two donuts because you never get one. That's what like you have, two? you have three. That's three or four. That's that's over. You're over a thousand already without the coffee. Come come on, man. Come on, man. Like it's no it's no excuse for that. That's ridiculous. Okay, Marty, sit Sorry. down for a big breakfast at McDonald's, including scrambled eggs. Sausage, biscuit, and hash browns. Seven hundred and sixty calories. <laughs> it's true, yo. It's, it, it's it's crazy when you break it down, and people want to blame genetics and stress and all this other BS. It's like yo, you're doing it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a conscious decision to eat this breakfast. That's crazy. Well, it gets worse. So if you sit down with a big breakfast and you want to add some hotcakes, who doesn't love hotcakes? Otherwise known as pancakes. Get this, my friend. Cakes. You're going into 1,340 calories before you get your ass out of McDonald's. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, man. So think about that, man. You go to McDonald's for a big breakfast with hotcakes. You, uh, um, I think I might be frozen here on my screen. Yeah, you're, you're still frozen. Yeah, I. Um, that's crazy. That's totally crazy. And then you go and get, uh, you go and get yourself a, uh, um, a, a, a Dunkin' Donut or not Dunkin' Donut, a uh, Krispy Kreme donut. You are going to be messed right up. Yeah, that's crazy, man. It's just ridiculously crazy. All right, so uh, I know Jimmy. I lost my video. I'm gonna come. I'm just gonna reset it back up here in a second. Here, you guys can hear me, which is fine. So, Marty, I did want to. So, I, I did. I did continue the conversation with uh, with GPT four last night regarding um, coming out of a fast. So, what's good breakfast foods for somebody who's coming out of a fast? And Jimmy, we're gonna hijack the creator spotlight today, so we're gonna focus our conversation on breakfast right now. So, uh, what's some good? Uh, uh, <laughs> Keith is in the pool again. <laughs> yes, that's where I went, Mike. I went and jumped in the pool. That's why I was frozen here. Um, no, no, Jimmy, we're not doing creator spotlight today. So, uh, Marty, I did, I did ask, I did ask GPT four about some healthy breakfast options for people coming out of a fast, and here were some of the answers that I got. So, <clears throat> smoothie with low fiber fruits. <laughs> not going there. No, no, not happening. Uh, bone broth, dude. I can't do bone broth. I've never tried it. I never had the desire. It's just like liquid. It's just soup. So I listen. They say it's really good for you, though. Dude, I can't do soup. What the hell, is soup? Yeah, I've only I only do soup when I'm like super sick. Uh, yeah okay and i uh, still okay. i still rarely do it like even then you know how you know how you like one of your friends or your relatives like you no know, i'm gonna make you some soup that's like the only time i guess, <laughs> I guess soup. yeah but mike's coming in was we're so hung up on perfect nutrient balance meanwhile our clients have a standing order at dunkin donuts donuts it's true right it's it's uh it's true you know what, marty we got to talk about one day on the show here we actually I, we're gonna make a plan of this I want to real, 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 real quick. I got. I had to throw this in there. You know it's bad when your clients walk in and they know your clients order already. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, you want number six with, <laughs> with the large coffee, with five sugars and, and extra cream. All right, cool. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got it coming right up. Then they go. That personal trainer sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got to uh, listen, nation. Keith and C. Marty are having fun with you guys today. You know, we, we offer nothing but kindness and grace. But we're also offering reality. Sorry, man. No, no, no. I I want to I want to stay here because we're also offering reality. I, I I've been around the block a few times. I'm not just some twelve year old punk. I, I've just seen enough people belly aching and <clears throat> complaining about this and that when the reality is got to look in their own mirror at their own food. Often, yeah, yeah. It's it's actually just starts there. That's it. It's not much more complicated than that. And we all want shortcuts. 
like Mike says, you know, we'll go get ourselves a donut. That's going to be my calories for the day. But Marty, I want to, what we need to dig in on an upcoming show is I want to dig into the three components, macronutrients, micronutrients, and calories, because they're three different things, meaning all the same thing, all doing the same thing, yet delivering different things. And we as humans get so confused about it. Oh, but I got my calories in. Yeah, but were they calories to hit your macros? Were they calories to hit your micros? And we're all so confused by that. So I think, Marty, we got to put that on the table for a conversation one day about the, you know, macro, micro, as well as calories. You know, I'm down. I know you are. I know you are. Absolutely. Uh, All right. So as we wrap up the show, some more healthy food items for those of you that are coming out of a fast, myself included, Marty. Avocado, soft boiled eggs, steamed vegetables. Yeah. All good ones. And here's one for you. I'm going to see if you can ring the bell. This one applesauce. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. So I, I found that as well. So the idea of applesauce was that uh, it's just easy to digest, provides some natural sugars. So if you're coming out of a fast, it'll be easy on your gut easy for you to digest and easy to absorb and maybe give you that sweetness that uh because you look on the list we got a lot of salts here right we got a lot of kind of salt type, type things so you know the applesauce is, is is somewhat of a nice idea of course oatmeal and here's another one for you marty are you a fan of papaya never had it ah yeah so papaya is another suggestion which is uh it aids in the digestion of food because of the enzymes in it Right, mm-hmm. so if you're coming out of a fast, you know, having some papaya might be uh, might be something to consider as well. And last yeah. but not least, Marty, here's a good one for you too, pal. I'm, I'm not sure if you're a fan of this one, but uh, how about some cottage cheese with cucumber? Remember, I'm not a cottage cheese guy, but I, I, I like cucumbers though. I do like cucumbers. Yeah, but I wonder if them together might be a little bit of this. I won't be trying that. <laughs> I won't be trying. Marty, listen. What do you mean I won't be trying that? We know that if we run towards fire, I got a run coming up, by the way. We know that if we don't, if we do things we don't like to do, that we it might just be better for us. So maybe you want to try cottage cheese with cucumber. Nope. <laughs> You're not changing my 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 opinion on that one. <laughs> I'm good. No, nope, no. Nope, it's nope. 2024. I got a thousand other choices. I'm not doing that. Oh I'm man, good. there you go. There you go. So, Business Athlete Nation, bringing us up to the bottom, the, the the end of our show here today. Sitting down with Keith and C. Marty Fit. Our topic of discussion today was healthy breakfast ideas with opinions from Keith and C. Marty on what you might or might not want to be eating to get your day going. And uh, you know, you hear this loud and clear. Uh, just don't start your day with a smoothie unless it's a natural smoothie with no sugar, like Lauren suggested, some organic greens, unsweetened organic soy milk, some unsweetened protein powder. You know, may- maybe we'll allow that into the lab. Maybe, Marty Fit, but just don't go to the smoothie today, Nation. The smoothie is your first step to f- to feedback slash failure. So call it like it is, man. Calling it like it I, I I agree a thousand percent. I'm uh, just, I, I I'm not going to go on my smoothie rant, but don't we, drink we your already kind of did. Don't huh? drink the cat. Don't drink your calories, nation. Eat them. Yeah, yeah meals are always better. Nutrient dense meals, you know, protein packed meals that are nutrient dense are always better. It's true. It's absolutely true. All right, so we are going to throw a poll out for today. Uh, Jimmy, I don't remember what the poll was, but we had a poll. <laughs> we were going to throw on the, on the question today. Oh yeah, uh, what what was your uh, what's your favorite? Uh, we got a poll. We're going to put a poll up here today to get uh, to get people engaged in the discussion. Uh, our hours up, Marty. I got an active day ahead of me today. We got a bunch of content to make. Um, I'm going to continue with my fast. I will be honest with you. You know, I'm not certain if I'm. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. Like right now, as I'm sitting here with you right now, I feel great. Like I don't know why I'm going to eat today. So I might see how the three, four o'clock day comes when I would normally break my fast. And if I'm yep. feeling great, I think I might extend it. And uh, 
uh, and then we'll see how, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, as, as the day and evening goes. And I know we like to live life with plans, but right now I'm feeling good. I'm kind of going on feelings and, uh, uh I'm going to keep the food out of my gut right now. It's making me feel pretty good. Hey, then, then keep it up. That's the plan. That's the plan. All right, nation, you guys have yourself a great one. Stay out of the smoothie jar. Stay out of the smoothie store. Stay at Dunkin' Donuts. Go get yourself some good, high nutrient dense food. And yes. Come back and uh, come back and see us tomorrow, Marty. We got Brooks Swidar joining us tomorrow. Business systems to get your life sorted out. So productivity tips, life hacks, business hacks, things that, you know, I know Brooks going through a career change right now. So things that are going to help you maybe change your life or put some systems in place to help get your day started, get your life moving and get your business going. So that's yep. tomorrow mornings in the lab. Looking forward to it. All right. You have yourself a good one, my friend. Uh, you too. Yeah, yeah, you as well. Jimmy, I don't think, I don't think Brittany Greenfield's coming up today. Uh, that is <laughs> Come on, come on, Jimmy. <laughs> Producer Jimmy Brady's coming up a little bit later this week on Live in the Lab. And uh, we got a lot of things coming up along the way as well. Okay, we're going to get out of here. It was a fun show today. Just Keith and C. Marty sitting back, having some coffee, chitter chatter, get at her, and getting on the smoothie chain. Mike, thanks for joining us. And thanks for joining us. Lauren, thanks for popping in with your feedback. Liz, you as well. And future Enzo, you've been quiet the last couple of days, my friend. We got He's knocked out. I think so. We got to rev you back up and get you back, get that energy back into lab here, so we can extend that, uh, extend that life back over to uh, to New Zealand. And I got, I got Jimmy throwing his laughing, uh, laughing emojis on the chitter chat this morning. So, all right, we're gonna get out of here. We got the loop coming up, Marty. I'll talk to you throughout the day, okay, pal? All right, I'll talk to you. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Have a good one, yeah. nation. Cheers.